Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. It's been a week plus since I last uploaded a video. Um uh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sorry for keeping you wait. But finally I'm back to filming videos. Um school is officially starting well school started for me this week, but like subjects will start coming in on Monday so this week we just had like discussion with our homeroom advisors so that's why I haven't been uploading much um, so today is Saturday for me so that means I can film a video and as you can see by the title or the thumbnail I'm going to show you guys how to make this Lumigurumi Mini Axolotl, which is designed by me. So, I made a mini axolotl. People ask, well, I asked people and they said yes. So, your wish is my command. So, this is what we're going to be making today and it's super tiny too. Like, here it is compared to the size of my hand. And my hand is pretty small, so... Yeah, it's really small, and that also means we are not going to need so many bands for this guy. And here is just the regular axolotl next to the mini axolotl. I think it's super cute together. And yeah, it's... Uh, you should make it. Please make it. <laughs> and yeah, this is what we're going to be making today. And without further ado, let's get started with the materials that we are going to be needing. So the materials that we are going to be needing to make this super cute and adorable mini axolotl are any type of hook. I'm going to be using my rainbow loom hook as usual. You're also going to need a C-clip or a stitch marker. You're also going to need something for the eyes. So today I'm going to be using the 6mm safety eyes. But if you have a smaller size eyes, you can do that as well. But if you do not have any... Um, safety eyes, you can use beads as well. I recommend using the smaller size, but if you do not have any beads or um, like safety eyes, you can use your bands. Just grab one band and triple loop it and slide it onto your collar for your body and slip knot it. And you're also going to need some bands, so I will be using white. The white is going to be for the baby pink. So I'm gonna be using the white for the baby pink, and for these spikes, and they are they are actually the gills, but I'm just gonna call them spikes. So for these, the these ones in the fuchsia and the tail part as well, I'm gonna be using multiple colors. I'm gonna be using rainbow today. Um, I'm going to make a rainbow axolotl. So yeah, I'm just gonna get my band. So. Have red. You can use one color too. I have red here, orange. And these are jelly bands. Yellow. It's been a long time since I used jelly bands. Um, green, turquoise, and purple. So for the spikes here, I'm gonna be using my jellies for that. Yeah. And lastly, you are also gonna need some stuffing. So yeah, these are the materials that we are going to be needing to make this Lumigurumi Mini Axolotl. And without further ado, let's get started. And also you guys, if I did not say in the beginning, band count will be in the description box below. So let's start making our Axolotl. We are just going to start making the head. The So like, this is how this is going to go. We are going to start from the head, then the body, and then the tail. So everything comes off as one. And after that, we are just going to do the spikies, and the arms and the legs, and this thing on the tail. So yeah, let's start. So we want to grab our body color first, and again, I'm going to be using this white. And by the way, this isn't the regular white I thought I'd share. This is the glow-in-the-dark white. I honestly prefer the glow in the dark white way more than the white. I don't know. So yeah. Anyways, no one asked. 
But yeah, I'm sorry guys if I feel so awkward and weird right now. It's been a long time since I filmed. So yeah, and I'm also sorry in advance if I'm not going to be as active. Again, school starting for me, which is sad, but you know, it's my responsibility, I guess. So like I have to attend to it. So yeah, sorry in advance. But now let's get started like actually on to the making because that's why you're here. You're not here to listen to my rants. So the first row for the head. Um, I'm just gonna say for the body because we're doing them all at once. So we are going to make a magic ring of five stitches. So if you do not know how to make a magic ring, I did a video on that beginner video. Or I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So I want you to pay attention so yeah so first you're just gonna grab your hook and your band then you want to put it onto your hook like so and then you grab a hold of the bottom part so, like it's hanging right you want to grab this hanging part and you want to twist it going to the left and that twisted part you want to put that onto your hook like so now you have a figure eight now you have two loops too. What you are going to do now is you grab this left loop. So this is the right loop. You want to grab the left loop and twist it one more time going to the left and put this twisted side onto your hook. Like so. And after that you just want to grab another band and you want to slide this triple loop cap band onto this band slide like so after that you want to reclaim this other end on your hook the other band on your hook and now you have two loops on your hook what you're going to do is you want to push this right one over the one on the left so you want to slide like so and after you've done that you want to go back to your triple loop cap band triple loop cap band And then one band slide it onto the cap band so slide this cap band only onto that band not including this for one loop then reclaim the other end now you have th three loops on your hook what you're going to do now is you want to push these two right ones over the one on the left so starting from starting right now and onwards we want to keep pushing the two right ones over the one on the left like so then you just want to go back to your seat I mean your cap band do the same thing one band slide to the cap band only and reclaim the other end three loops push the two right ones over the one on the left and you want to keep on doing that until you have five so so far that's three this is one two and the, the one on your hook is the third one just go back to your cap band and we need five so this is stitch number four and stitch number five if that was too quick for you you can try to rewind and try to slow the video down as well you can do that so yeah so now let's count how many stitches we have to make sure if we really have um, five stitches so to know that stitches they are the teardrop shapes that's going on a circular motion so teardrop shapes going in a circular motion not forward or sidewards circular motion so let's count so this is one two three and four and this one on your hook counts as a stitch so that's stitch number five after that you're just going to grab your c-clip and put it to the band clip it to the band that's on your hook our next row is going to be an increased row around so that means we are going to stitch two in each stitch so what is an increase it is basically putting two stitches in one to increase obviously so what we are going to do and how to do it First, we want to go to our first stitch, which is this one here. 
So put your hook onto that. And what you're going to do next is you want to grab one band and slide the band onto this stitch. And reclaim the other end. Now three loops again, push the two right ones over the one on the left. Like so. Then we want to go back to the same stitch to do our increase. So the first stitch that we do, that's a single. And since we are doing an increase, we want to go back to the same stitch and do a stitch one more time. So that's what we are going to do all the way around. So single stitch, go back to that same stitch for our increase. And after this row, we are going to have 10 stitches. If you did not know, or if you did not get that, I recommend rewinding and slowing the video down. But I also did a beginner tutorial for Lumigurumi, so you can check that out as well. It's somewhere on my channel. So yeah. And also you guys, we just hit 1,800 subscribers. That's amazing. Thank you so much for those who subscribed. I love you all. So I'm done with my increases. So you are going to increase last onto the band with a C clip on. Once you are done, or once you increase all the way to the band with a C clip on, you're just gonna take the C clip off and clip it to the new band that's on your hook. Again, after that row, we should have a total of 10 stitches. So let's count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is the one that's on your hook. Our next row, we wanna do single increase, five singles, increase, and two singles. So our first stitch will have a single, first stitch with a single, second stitch with an increase, so normal stitch, go back to the same stitch for the single. And the next five stitches will have a single. So stitch three will have a single. Stitch four will have a single. Stitch five will have a single. Stitch six will have a single. And stitch seven will have the last single. Stitch eight will be an increase. So go to your eighth stitch and do your increase again. First will be a normal stitch and go back to the same stitch for the increase. And stitch 11 and 12 will just be a single. So just single around, single, and single. After that, you're just going to take your C-clip off and clip it to the new band that's on your hook. And this row, we should have a total of 12 stitches. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and this band on your hook is stitch number 12. So, what we are going to do in the next few rows are going to be, we are just going to do three rows of single around. And if you're wondering why I have three bands here, every single band represent a row. And since we are doing three rows of single, I place three bands. So I'm just going to do the three rows with you because they are just really easy. So what you're going to do is go to your first stitch and I grab my first band and that marks my first row. And the next row, I'm not going to grab this, I'm going to grab my other pile of bands. And we are just going to do a single row around. And I'm just going to go a bit quicker since this is 
this step is very repetitive it's just putting one stitch in each stitch and again that's going to be for a total of three rows and after every after the row so we are going to still have 12 stitches so this is my first row and again you are gonna need I mean you are gonna know once you're done with your row is when you are when you stitch your bat, um, your band with a c-clip on so after you stitch that band with a c-clip on you're just gonna take the c-clip off from that band and put it to the new band that's on your hook and just do the same thing so this is my second row and also you guys you can count the stitches to make sure if you want to but I'm just not going to do that so that I could film I mean, I could save some filming time. So, yeah. And also, you guys. Um, I never mind. I'm gonna say that later. But, yeah, make sure that you are doing your single rows around. Now, take your C clip off once you are. Once you stitch the band with the C clip on. And put it to the new band that's on your hook and this is my last row aka my third row and I am almost done with my three rows but yeah we are almost done too so like again this design is pretty small so that means that we don't really need that much time to make this really simple really easy and really quick too. And I'm sorry guys for any background noises. So I'm done with my three rows around. I'm just gonna take my C-clip off and put it to the band that's on my hook. So this is how it's looking so far. So, what we are going to do next is we are going to do a decrease. So, if you do not know what a decrease is, it is stitching two stitches together to form one stitch. So, let's do that. So, our pattern for this row is single, decrease, single, decrease, decrease, and four single. So let's do our single first. Single. And if you do not know how to do a decrease, this is how I do it. So once you are done with your single, our next is going to be a decrease. So we want to focus on two stitches here. So what I do is I grab the front loop of the first stitch that I'm going to do a decrease on. And the back loop of the other stitch that I'm going to do a decrease on. And I just stitch them together. So grab one band and just do, do a normal stitch our next our next is going to be a single and then a decrease again so front loop of the first stitch back loop of the other and stitch and our next row is going to be a decrease as well so front loop of the first stitch back loop of the second stitch and decrease then we are just going to do a single until we reach the band with a c-clip on so that's one two three and four after that, let's just take our C-clip off and put it to the band that's on our hook. Our next row is going to be single, increase, and then sub and single. So, let's do that. So, single, increase. So, two stitches. And then the rest will be a single and that's a total of seven stitches so this is one two 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Take your Z clip off and put it to the band that's on our hook. But this is how it looks so far. So before we proceed, let's just add our stuffing and I'd recommend you guys having like a pen to push the stuffing because I bet your thumb wouldn't um, like, you know, wouldn't fit the hole since we are only working with a small space. So I have my pen here. What you're going to do is you just want to grab your stuffing. And this is to give shape to our head before it's too late. And you're just going to... P so let's just put the band with the C-clip onto the body of our hook. And you want to... Um, like just push your stuffing onto the hole using your pen. Just take your time. And also you do not need to overstuff. So, just put the right amount of stuffing. So, yeah, that's okay for me. So, I'm gonna stop now and continue. So, now we should have a total of 10 stitches. So, let's count if we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our next row is going to be a single row around. So, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, and if you're wondering why it doesn't look like an oxalotl, trust the process, you guys, do not worry. After you're done with your rows, you're just gonna take your C-clip off and put it to the band that's on your hook. Next row will be single decrease, and we are gonna end up with seven stitches after this row. So let's do single decrease around. And that, so this is our head part, and this is our body. Now we are working with our tail. So, single decrease around, single, and decrease, single, and decrease, single, decrease, and we are gonna end up with a single. So let's count if we have seven stitches. So first let's just take our C-clip off and put it to the new band that's on our hook. Let's count if we have seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So before we proceed, and now we want to stuff again for the body part. So we stuffed our head, now we are going to stuff our body part. So again, you want to put this band on your hook to the body side. And you grab some stuffing. And with the help of your um, pen, you want to push it down the hole. Just take your time and make sure you do not overstuff. And I think that's about okay. Our next row is going to be single decrease. And we are going to have... Oh, no, 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 no. Our next row will be one row around. So, one row. So, single around. And we are still going to have seven. So, one. Two. Three, four, 
five, six, and seven. After that, you're just gonna take your C-clip off, put it to the bands on your hook. Now, this time, we are going to do single and decrease. So, after this, we are done with our body. We just have to do our spiky spikes, our taily tail, and our arms and legs. So, single decrease around. Single. Decrease. Single decrease and end with a single. So just take your C clip off to the to this point and do your single. And now we want to close. So what I do is I go to the first stitch and grab the front loop of the first stitch. Then I kind of twist my hook going to the left and grab the one loop of a stitch wherever my hooks pointing and just grab one band and I just slip knot and that's how I close so after that I'm just going to take this lip knot inside and we are done with the body you guys so yeah now we can attach our face our um Spikes are almost done. So what you're going to do is make sure that your tail is... Okay, this is how it looks like. So you are also going to know if you... So in the body part, we did an increase. And that increase is an indicator for the middle side. Once you see your increase, here's my increase for the body side. That's where you're going to know that you're on the right, um, on the right direction, I guess, or you're in the right track. And that's an indicator as to where your body should be facing. Make sure your increase from your body is on the top, right here. And also make sure that your tail is um, forming a triangle this way and not that way. Like so. So once you find your increase from your body in the middle, you just want to work with your front side and we are going to add our eyes first. So our eyes go to the second row. So second row, okay. So this is our first row. So this is our first row here. With our magic ring, our eyes will go on the second row, so on this area. I'm just gonna put one eye first, so that eye goes there, and put the other one. What about in here? So here. Again, you wanna put your eyes on the second row, so your magic ring is your first row, and the row above it is the second row and that's the row where you are going to add your eyes like so and after that we can now add our spikes or the gills so how to do that okay i'm just gonna grab my um rainbow bands so i'm just going to grab them I'm going to show you guys how it's done in a bit. Let me just grab my bands. I hope I was understandable though. Hope I wasn't confusing in any part of the video. But if I am, you can always choose to rewind and also slow it down. Sorry, it's taking me quite some time to get my bands. So if you made the bigger axolotl, this part will be a piece of cake for you. So what you're going to do is you want to go... So, okay, so this is where you place your eye, right? And you want to go one row up. 
and you want to go so yeah like that so your eye okay again 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 I'm sorry about that sorry 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 so your eye and you want to go up a row and wherever the band on top so this is your eye right this is the row of your eye and then you want to go to the next row and wherever the row is heading is where you're gonna grab some stitches like so again your eye then one row and pick a stitch I skip one row and pick a stitch what you're going to do is just grab one band pull it through that stitch on the body reclaim the other end and stitch now you want to go back to the same stitch like so and you grab one band pull it through that stitch and reclaim the other end after that you're just gonna grab one band pull it through this chain only reclaim the other end and we are just going to stitch and now you have three loops on your hook you want to push these two right ones over the one on the left now we want to go back to that chain and do two more the so one band pull through the chain only reclaim the other end and stitch let's do that one more time go back to the same um, same chain grab one oops grab one band pull through the chain only reclaim the other end and stitch our next row is going to be so what we are so that's one part of our ch um, our spikes so after that we want to go to the next stitch so this is the first stitch we want to go down a stitch here this part that's one stitch you want to go down a stitch for your next um, spikes or yeah so what you're going to do is you grab one band and you want to pull it through everything including this stitch on your hook and you're just going to do a stitch and that's going to separate them that's going to separate the spikes and after that you're just gonna go to the same stitch as your first stitch for your next uh, spike and what you're going to do is grab one band and you're just going to chain one so you're going to use that band to chain like so and we want to stitch three bands in this chain grab your first band pull it through the chain only chain only jelly bands are so hard to work with jelly bands only reclaim the other end and stitch go back to the chain next band pull through the chain only reclaim the other end and stitch and one more time go to the chain one band pull through the chain only reclaim the other end and stitch now for our last spike let's just go down one stitch again and do the same thing first band you want to pull it through everything on your hook and stitch and then you want to go back to the same stitch as to where you um, stitch your first band and we want to chain one band chain and grab another band and we want to stitch three bands onto this chain so that is one two 
two and three. And then what we're going to do is we want to go back to the same stitch, stitch from your first stitch on your chain. And we're just going to grab one band and slip knot. So pull through everything on your hook and slip knot. And we can just hide the slip knot into the body. And what we are going to do now to make it look like this is we want to pinch it going forward. Pinch from the back to front. So pinch. I don't know if this is looking like a rainbow, but anyway, it's still cute, I guess. But yeah, just pinch it going to the front. And that's how you do the spikes or the gills, you guys. Really easy. So let's do the other side. I'm going to do this other side with you. So now that we attach, I mean we stitch our first three, I mean our spikes for this side, which is the right side, we can just easily um, do our next side. So we want to count three stitches. So this is our f um, first spike. Let's count three stitches. This is one, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're just going to insert our hook to the next stitch. Again, your first spike, then count three stitches. One, two, three. And insert your hook to the next stitch for your first spike of your other side. And again, really easy, one band, pull through that stitch, and stitch it. And you want to go back to the same stitch, grab one band, and chain it. So chain, you're not going to stitch or anything. And then to this chain, we want to stitch three bands. So this is number one. Go back to the same stitch, I mean chain. This is number two. And go back to that chain one more time. And this is number three. Like so. Now we want to go down a stitch. So your next stitch. Down a stitch. And do the same thing again. One band and pull through everything and stitch like normal. After that, you want to go back to the same stitch as to where you stitch your first stitch, like so. And you grab one band and chain. And we want to stitch three bands onto that chain. So this is number one. Go back to the chain. This is number two. And go back one more time to the chain. And this is number three. And after that, we're just going to do our last spike of this um, side. So go one st stitch down. And again, one band. And pull through everything. And then you're just going to stitch. Like so. And we want to go back to the same stitch as to where we stitch our first stitch for this spike. And we want to chain one. And we want to stitch three bands onto this chain. This is one. Go back into that chain. This is two. And go back into that chain one last time. And three. Now let's go back to the same stitch again. From your first stitch and first chain 
on this row, on this spike, and you're just gonna do a slip knot. And after that, you can just hide this slip knot onto your body, like so. And again, to make it look like this, you want to pinch it from back to front. So pinch it from back to front, pinch it from back to front, like so. And you can kind of adjust it, just do however you like it. And that is how you do the spikes. If that was confusing for you, I'm so sorry. I'd like, I'd recommend you guys rewinding and slowing the video down. So yeah, just really take your time. And again, if I was going too fast, rewind and slow the video down. That will help. So once we are done with the spikes, we can just now proceed with our arms and legs. And they are really easy. So what you are going to do is you want to grab your body color band so i have my white here and you want to grab two bands so let's just put this side um put this aside for now again your top side is the one with an increase on the with, in your body part so your top side is the one with an uh, where you can see an increase on the body side so that's the top side so what you're going to do is you grab two bands of your body color and just put it onto your hook and then you want to twist it twice so that's one and two so that created three loops on your hook after that you can just grab your one additional band pull through everything and then this side you can just put it onto your other arm finger as finger for now now what we're going to do is we want to um, slip knot it. So we're where 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 are we going to slip knot it? So you have your increase on top. You want to go to the same row. You want to trace it, and that's where you are going to add your arms. So here, and you're just gonna slip knot. After that, you can just um, push, I mean, kind of fix it. And you can just put your slip knot inside. Like so. So that's how we do the arms and the legs. Two band, two bands, twist twice, one and two. Then grab one band. And you want to slide this, the band, um, the bands on your hook to that band, and put this side on the the band that's on your hook to your finger for now, and we are just going to slip knot it to our body, which is this side. So slip knot, and once you slip knot, you can kind of fix it, kind of twist by twisting it. And after that, once you are satisfied, you're just gonna take this slip knot end inside your body, like so. And that's how you do your legs as well. So let's just grab two bands again and twist it twice on your hook and grab one band slide it and slip knot it we want to go down two rows from our arms so this is our arms down two rows one two then attach by slip knotting slip knot and let's just tuck this tail inside like so now let's do that one more time so two band tw two bands twist twice on your hook and grab one band slide it through 
and you're just going to slip knot it. And tuck the slip knot tail inside. And that's it, you guys. But we are not yet done. We are now going to add our tail part here. So what you're going to do is you find the middle and stitch. So your tail part here. And what you're going to do is you want to grab one band and put it onto your hook. And you're not going to stitch. That's just how you do it. And you go down another stitch, and grab one band, and you want to pull it through everything. Like so. And that's what you're going to do all the way around. Go to the next stitch, one band, pull it through everything. And again, you're not going you're not going to stitch it. Just going to do it like that. And Next, you go down and pull through everything. And you go down. And you're just going to slip knot. So I used five bands for this part. And once you're slip, you're done. You're just going to tuck your slip knot tail into the body. That's how you do that tail part. So that's how you make this axolotl, you guys. I hope I was understandable throughout the video. I hope there were no misunderstandings or confusions. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you make one, do not forget to tag me on Instagram. I will have my links down below and use the hashtags Olympus the Loomer. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! I love you all!